My name is Sinalela, and this is my movie. I live in Samoa by a pool. Above the pool on the hillside is my mother's grave. My father married again into a poor but important family. My stepmother was a queen and an ogre. My stepsisters, Melele and Graham, were queens too. Everyone was a queen but me. I was just an ex-rugby player consigned to household duties. Every day at the scene, I dreamed of construction workers and taxi drivers and traveled to distant places like San Francisco, California, to a secret hut made of the cut stems from floral shops filled with construction workers and taxi drivers. Every time I approached the secret hut in my dreams, I was rudely called back by my stepmother, the Queen and Ogre, to perform impossible tasks. My stepsisters had lives very different from my own. My stepsister Graham was a businesswoman. She spent all day working for the American Samoa government. I'm not sure what she did, but it had something to do with missile shipments to Kwajalein. She also owned a sewing shop. My other sister, Mer Lele, managed a government-owned hotel. She had managed to get it named the worst tourist destination in the world, which is a good thing, because who wants tourists? They expect you to give them the best beaches, the best views, the best food, the best girls so our kids can learn to sell ulas. My name used to be Sina, but they called me Sina Lella, which means that Sina. One day, while I was cleaning dishes, I discovered a one-eyed fish that must have swum up the plumbing from the reef below the house. One-eyed fish, one-eyed fish, Bring me to my prince. Suddenly, I found myself on the seawall, where I had met so many young men in my youth. I'll never find my prince here, I thought. But there on the wall was an aiko. Aiku, Aiku, bring me to my prince. Well, I don't know if it was the one-eyed fish or the Aiku spirit dancing on the seawall, but here I am. It isn't San Francisco, but he has nice tattoos.